On January 20th, 1934, Fuji Photo Film Co. LTD was established with the original goal of producing photographic films in Japan. Fujifilm made their first camera in 1948, the Fujika 6IA, which was a spring camera that shot medium format rolls of film, so large format type of photography, which was unique compared to the other 35 millimeter film cameras being made at that time. Today, you might see hints of their first camera with in what we're about to unbox, and that is a limited edition Instax Mini Evo camera made with special materials that make this instant camera stand out from everything else on the market. And I think Fujifilm would be all right with me saying, there has never been a better looking Instax camera. You've seen the Instax prints before, maybe even gifted these to friends or family, but this camera, these are limited production models and will be very difficult to get. In fact, they may be completely sold out by the time you're watching this because pre-orders start today and we're only getting about 60-ish cameras. Uh, but I said to the Henry's team and Fujifilm, I was like, you gotta at least let me see it. The Fujifilm fans, they're gonna want an unboxing and I am one of those Fujifilm fans. So I'm making this video for you, but also it was a little bit for me as well. Today, we're gonna get to unbox the limited edition Instax Mini Evo camera, but I don't just have one. I have two cameras in two different colors. So let's take a look. So let's take a look at this Instax Mini Evo limited edition camera. I actually didn't even look at what color we're about to unbox here. So this will be a surprise to you and me. Uh, I'm not too sure what's, what's coming first, but we do have two cameras here today. And we're gonna take a look at both and do like a little bit of like a side-by-side -side comparison on just the looks. Uh, so if we could just dive right into the box here, I think this, this is probably the camera right here. Yeah, definitely feels like like the camera and the thing that separates this limited edition to the regular version is a couple things so uh, in the limited edition pack you do get the leather case in included in this pack so if you were to purchase the leather case uh, on its own i believe it's 29.99 and the limited edition pack that i'm actually unboxing right now this one is only a couple dollars more than uh, just the regular uh, instax mini evo camera on its own so then you would of course have to purchase this leather pack uh, additionally uh, whereas with the limited edition you get not only this leather case which actually feels quite nice nice little soft kind of texture on the side and of course some really nice real leather this is included but it's also with this limited edition camera you're also getting a super unique color uh, which we're about to take a look at in a second but give you a quick look at the leather case this actually feels quite nice real leather on here uh, let me just make sure there's actually is there anything else in the box here I'm not 100% sure so let's just take a look what else is included I think we're just missing the USB-C yeah oh and I almost forgot the lens cap uh, as well so this is actually color matched to the camera so I guess we're about to find out which color uh, I'm unboxing right here they made two different colors uh, the, so this is the oh this looks like the titanium gold model so the lens cap actually match, matches the camera and you can see the titanium gold right here and then this nice little texture on the front we'll have to save this and put this off to the side for now but what else is in the box before we kind of wrap everything up uh, in terms of just what's in the box you get that USB-C cable this is going to charge the camera the camera operates off of an internal battery and then and oh yeah, the, the leather strap is also another big difference on the limited edition models as well. So this is the leather strap that it comes with and the color uh, of the stitching and the printing of the logo. This also matches the color of the camera as well, which is quite nice. So there's some good little details happening uh, and really kind of puts the whole camera and uh, makes everything kind of come together on this model. So the, the strap feels really nice, that premium leather as well. And I think that's it for what's in the box. 
So let's skip ahead and take a look at the camera here. Okay, so this is the camera here. And of course, we don't want to forget the leather or the uh, lens cap. It says, don't just take, give. That's pretty cool. The little Instax, uh, little, little Instax slogan there. Uh, and this is the camera here. So this is the titanium gold version. Uh, really cool. This one, this one pops for sure. I, I actually really like this color. Color. I was a fan of when Fujifilm did the, the, the these different metals on the X Pro cameras. So it's nice to see that we have a couple different options in the Instax cameras as well now, which is really cool. But like I said, of course, these are going to be super limited. All the badge icons on the front of the camera are really nice. Uh, and then that nice little texture on the front as well. So if you've never looked at the Instax Mini Evo, um, this is kind of a cool little feature. Uh, you got this little thumb grip, but it also acts as the print button as well. So you give that a little twist or a little pull, I guess, and uh, that's gonna spit you out the print. It says print on the actual little lever there, right there. So that's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, this camera also includes the printer. So it's not an additional item that you're actually printing anything off of. It'll just spit the photo right out of the side of the camera once you've selected the photo that you actually like, which is really nice. A few extra little features on this camera here. You got a, uh, a couple of film effects in the camera, which is quite nice. Dual shutter buttons, uh, port, you can go portrait or landscape on this camera. Oh, and it does look like there's actually a little bit of juice uh, in the battery here. So that looks really nice. And uh, of course, if you attach the uh, camera strap, then you can probably throw this around the shoulder or just like cross body and do it that kind of way. But that's really nice. And that is the camera right there. So let's take a look at the camera number two. Let's uh, see what color, what are they calling this color? This is a dark silver. So uh, the titanium gold, that looks really nice, but this one's probably a little bit more, I guess, low key, I guess. Uh, and if you know, you know, that's what the, this, this color is, right? Like it looks like a, just a more normal camera, but with a little bit of a twist, it's got some extra little spark and yeah, that, that color just looks top notch right there. That's, that's pretty key. I like how they've done this almost like gunmetal kind of feel with this color here. They're calling this dark silver, uh, but essentially the same camera as what we just looked at here, just in the different color, but this color is quite nice. Uh, maybe a little bit more low key uh, than the titanium gold, but overall same layout. There's the tripod thread. Uh, if you wanna mount this to a tripod, you can still do that, which is really nice. And uh, let's take a look at them side by side. So which one would I go with? I think I'm leaning towards that titanium gold. That one just really pops for me. I'm probably maybe a little bit more of like an out there kind of kind of kind of taste, right? Like I like to be a little bit more flashy when uh, if you got an, an extra accessory uh, tied around your hip or waist or you know shoulder across the body kind of thing. I'm going titanium gold, but this dark silver is also really nice as well. So like I said, if you want one of these unique Instax cameras, you have to act fast and I'll include a link in the description. Uh, and when they go, they are gone. So thanks for watching this video. And even if you don't get to grab yourself one, then I still hope you at least had a good time looking at these uh, nice looking cameras. My name is Anthony and I'll see you in the next one.